Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to place cutters on gemstones, how to prepare a model for rendering basically um, when our gemstones are not components. Okay, So sometimes we may be importing files um, maybe from Rhino and uh, you can import them as an IGIS file type uh, and that's what we have here. In which case our gemstones are shapes, they're not components, which means we have difficulty placing our cutters on them. Okay, in fact, we can't because they're not components, it does not read them as a gemstone, so we uh, cannot place our cutters on them, and as a result, it's uh, we cannot remove this intersecting material that we need to remove uh, in the case where we're preparing this for rendering. Okay, so when we're rendering, we want to have no material intersecting our gemstones. So how do we go about this? Well, there's a couple of strategies. Um, the first most painful strategy is to recreate these gemstones uh, manually with components. Uh, and in this case, it's going to be not a very time effective uh, route to go down. So we're going to look at a different strategy and we're basically going to recreate a single gemstone, place the pilot cutter on that and then copy frame to frame. Okay, so first of all, I want to inquire the size of these melee stones. So I'm going to inquire tab distance, and I'm inquiring from edge to edge, and they're 1.1s. Okay, and pretty confident they're 1.1s all the way around. Oh, maybe not. This is a one. Another one. Okay, so perhaps. We have a mixture of 1s and 1.1s. Okay, so they're 1s and maybe this side of just 1.1s. I had to jump in there, but I think this is a 1.1. Okay, so, yep, 1.1. So we have 1.1s on this side, 1s down here, and I'm guessing this is a 6.5. Yeah, okay, so we need to create two gemstones, a 1.1 and a 1. So to do this, I am going to just copy a datum plane. So we copy the datum plane, I'm going to parve, place stones, and we're going to have a 1 millimeter. Now let me re pick that. One millimeter and a one point one as well. Oops, got my number lock on one point one. Okay, so we have uh, one millimeter, one point one millimeter. Now I'm going to place my pilot cutters onto these gemstones, one, two, and typically this is how I scale up for rendering. I do a 1.05, take the elevation down, and that should be enough actually. I want to see no gemstone through there, and I don't. Okay, so now I'm going to merge all of these, merge the stone and the cutter as a base. Okay, so now we've turned all of these into shapes. Shape there, and the stone inside is also a shape. Okay, so now what we can do is copy this cutter frame to frame, frame to frame here, copy frame to frame, picking the cutter, the from frame, we're going to use the table of our gemstone. Okay, so that table there, okay, it's this table, the top of it. So that's the from frame and we're copying to obviously the, the table of these gemstones. Okay, so these are the 1.1 millimeter gemstones. My picking is not so good today, but we're picking the table, and you can see it's lining up nicely, just how it would line up if we were to place these um, cutters on components. And we confirmed there, and what I'm going to do 
is do a face offset right here because I can see this is intersecting our prong and we don't want that so let's do some face offsets for these ones and that one okay and now we just do the copy frame to frame again so let me just show you exactly what I'm doing I'm copying from this table this top surface this is the frame I'm copying pick the shape oh sorry wrong shape I need to pick the cutter and blank cool. Copy, pick the shape from frame and to frame. Okay. Okay, and at this point we can do a combine remove, or we can, uh, if that fails in here, we can do a combine remove in our Boolean software. We're going to try and do it here. Let's go into the combine, remove, pick our base, and what I'm going to do here is do come into my attribute filter. The base I'm going to set the color to green, and I'm going to set it to exclude, so it picks everything except our green cutters. And then in the operator, I do the same, but the opposite way around. Just include the green cutters. So combine remove, let's see if this works out for us, let's hope it does. And it looks like it did, it also took out our gemstones there. If we did, we would have had to remember to uh, erase these, orig these uh, reference stones, but in this case we did a combine remove and it actually took them out for us, so don't need to worry about that. But here we have our removed shapes and I've made uh, one mistake and that is not to hide our um, our actual gemstones from the, the cutters, so it's taking them out as well, which we don't want. We want those gemstones. So I'm going to instead of re-picking in there because it you know it takes a little while to pick. What I'm going to do is come right back up here, and let's come into just right up to the top, and. Of course, we could just re-pick our combine remove and unpick these blue ones. But since I've already done this operation, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to just copy all of these shapes. Pick them, copy them. I'm actually going to control unpick this one. I don't need to copy that. Replay, so they're all copied there. We have duplicates, so now I'll just remove from one of those shapes. Okay, so we have our stones there and we have our cuts. Okay, for this one, we could do a similar strategy, but um, what I actually like to do is just scale this up, scale the shape maybe to that 1.05 and keep the original entities. I, I give this a different color, say that green color. Move it into position, you know, so that I can see it encapsulating the entire blue gemstone, like so. And then I just do a combine remove. Okay, so I pick my base and the cutter. And that should do the job. There we have material removed, plenty of material removed for our um, rendering. Okay, so that's how we do the um, combine remove or the cutter remove to prepare a file for rendering when we do not have components.